Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I think today is day three of Fukuoka and um, the weather has been really terrible. And we were just watching the news this morning and it was saying that this area, Kyushu area, is getting a lot of heavy rain this whole week. So not only here, but just the surrounding areas are getting a lot of rain. So we've decided we're gonna do something indoors again. Um, We've decided we're going to go to the aquarium near here. It's called Marine World. Um, it's 20 minutes by car, but if you take a bus, it's going to take an hour. So we're going to take a bus. And if you look outside, it's not pouring like the other day, but it looks manageable. At least it's not extremely hot. The bus, the bus is about the bus stop is about five minutes away from here. So we're going to go on our way soon. And uh, yeah, we're going to be on our way. Alright, so we just got to um, Marine World. Um, it was about a 45 minute bus ride um, and it's kind of interesting because it's kind of like on a peninsula and um, this area has a lot of things to do like there's a huge park, there's a bunch of beaches but since it's raining we can't do any of that but we are going to go to this aquarium which is really nice. Look at all these palm trees. It's like Hawaii. Whoa! This place is pretty cool. The aquarium looks really crazy too. All right, you can hear the dolphin show, I think. But you can kind of see the sea. The weather is not that great. But um, if you guys don't know, I love aquariums. I've been to a lot. I've been to one of the biggest ones in America. I've um, been to one in Osaka, Kyoto, and um, I wanted to go to one in Okinawa because, but because of um, the pandemic, we couldn't go. It was closed last year, but hopefully we can go sometimes in the future. But this outside area looks pretty awesome. This whole building looks cool. Wow, it's pretty expensive. It's about 2350 for one pass for an adult. Yeah. For kids, it's like 1100 or 600 depending if you're an elementary, elementary student or elementary school student or a child, a young child, I guess. So they have English as well, Chinese and Korean. All right, this is the place. It looks pretty cool inside. Got the shop right in front. Right, it looks like the dolphin show just finished, so a lot of people are storming out of there. But it seems like there's a lot of people here. I think this is where they have the dolphin show. This is a pretty nice little arena. It's kind of like the Kyoto one, where it's kind of open air, but there's no sea in the back of um, Kyoto. I think they pretty much all do it the same. Somebody inside of there. Salamanders? Please don't touch. Oh, it's big. Whoa. sit out here and then look at the uh, aquarium as well.
You get really up close to these penguins here. There's a penguin right here.
All right, so um, I didn't get to uh, make a video because um, we were just trying to figure out how to get out of the aquarium. I thought the aquarium was pretty good. I thought it was better than most. The dolphin show was pretty good. Um, I'll try to put a link to the Kyoto aquarium because um, because we did also see a dolphin show there, but me and my girlfriend was saying that this dolphin show was a lot better. They had that one huge dolphin and then it was very interactive with the crowd. So the crowd was getting really wet and um, it was really funny. And I had a really good time. My girlfriend had a really good time. I like the way that they used their space. It's very Japanese to really use the space that they got. So it wasn't like crazy big, but the way that they had it out on different floors, they just made it really nice. Um, through all the little exhibits and um, yeah I thought it was a pretty good um, aquarium yeah it's a, I've been to that, that's like one two three that's probably like the fourth aquarium I've been to in Japan and I'd have to say that one was not too bad I also like the uh, big tank and they had um, a lot of sharks they didn't have a variety because I know I know the one in Osaka has um, a whale shark we went there once they have like one or two whale sharks yeah two and um, this place they don't have like a hammerhead or anything like that but they had like a lot of those big regular sharks i don't know what they're called um maybe i don't think it's a great white shark but it's just um maybe a bulldog no i don't know actually but they had like a several of those huge sharks which is really nice and yeah i thought the overall experience was really good um we're gonna go back to hakata station to get something to eat maybe some korean food and then we're just gonna head home head back to our hotel after that. So we're on our way right now. And the weather is really cold, just windy. Not not cold, but very windy. It's such a, such a crazy extreme, cause like a week ago it was like crazy hot and now it's just kind of windy. It's kind of like fall weather. This train station has a little waiting area. Interesting. 